Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel, I am back with another video and today I want to talk to you about what I think WWE should do with 205 Live. Just in case you don't know what 205 Live is, basically it's, it's like Raw and Smackdown and that but it's just for the cruiserweights. I think when WWE first came up with this idea, they thought there was going to be massive things for it. Which, if you look at it on paper, it should have been pretty big. But the truth is, I don't think it's getting the sort of viewership that like NXT and Raw and SmackDown are getting. Which is a shame. But basically, in my opinion, I think that they should just scrap 205 Live and move all of the cruiserweights onto the main rosters. Because there's still a lot they can do with them from there. They could have them going for like the United States Championship or the Intercontinental Championship in these bigger matches. I mean, we've already seen that it can work like that. Rey Mysterio is like the biggest success story from that. I mean, the guy's held the World Heavyweight Championship twice and he's also held the WWE Championship. So it just shows you that they, they can put a cruiserweight in that title like picture and it works out really well with uh, 205 not receiving the viewership that it should be getting it is a massive shame because uh, some of the talents you've got on there tj perkins got drew gulak the biggest one one of my favorites from 205 live cedric alexander the guy is 100 percent amazing but unfortunately he's not getting the recognition that he could this is a guy I could see definitely holding the United States Championship. Maybe even, I don't know about winning it, but being put in the big title picture. And maybe not winning it, but just being in that sort of match. Now, going for what to do with the spot that closing 205 li Live leaves. I say turn this into a woman's show, like their own show. The fact of the matter is, on the main roster, the women are getting like short little segments. It's it's a shame to see because some of the storytelling that you could use with the women is brilliant. So why not give them their own show to actually be able to put these massive stories in, be able to tell more than one or two stories at a time. You could even introduce new titles, the women's tag team titles, combine the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships, just have a normal women's championship. Bring back the European title and have it so that it's only held by women. This would be a big thing, like, you're bringing back a classic title that was a men's title, bring it back and just give it to the women. It will be historic. With that as well, you could have a lot more women on the actual roster. You could bring up, like, Ember Moon, uh, Carrie Sane. Bring women from other promotions like TNA, Ring of Honor and things like that, bring them in. You could even bring back wrestlers who want to come back, uh, women wrestlers who want to come back but there's no space for them. It's one of these, there's so much possibility you could have with it. Have a women's GM, you could have like Trish Stratus as women's GM or even Paige. She, unfortunately she can't wrestle anymore but she comes from a wrestling family, she knows so much about this business, she would be able to run that show. Speaking of managers, if you scrap 205 Live, it means like Rockstar Spud, sorry, Drake. Yeah, you may not be able to have him as a GM anymore, but um, we've already seen on TNA that it can fit into a manager's position and uh, work the angle really well. So do that with him. Put him in these like good storylines. Even have him as a wrestler. We've seen that he can. We've seen that he can fight. We've seen all of that from him. So who knows? Maybe put. Like like I say, go back go back to calling him Rockstar Spud. Don't know why. I just I just love the name Rockstar Spud. Have him like either managing or actually wrestling. But with that as well, converting it from 205 Live being the cruiserweights into it actually being its own women's promotion. Um, I don't know what you'd call it. I, I'm not good with that sort of thing, so you'd have to leave it up to them. I don't know, maybe do something like they've got with NXT. Every time it comes to like WrestleMania and things like that, NXT have their own pay-per-view takeover, which always does brilliant, brilliantly. Maybe have women's own pay-per-views. It, it gives more of uh, an encouragement to get into the whole women's wrestling. They talk about this women's revolution so much. Things like this could really boost all of that. Because let, let's be honest, they're saying there's a women's revolution and they're getting matches like uh, their own Rumble, the Memorial Battle Royal, things like that. 
but they're still only getting like small segments on the show. It kind of draws back from it. Have this show expand a lot more, give people, it, it, it'd give the women actually, it'd give them more of a confidence boost because like they'd actually be getting treated like the men. There'd definitely be no separate, no way to say like, yeah, there's separation. Because they're getting the time on the screen, they're getting big storylines, they might even be getting their own like pay-per-views and things like that. So it, it gives them the appreciation that they deserve, and because they're getting the appreciation that they deserve, more confidence, better angles, that, that's just my thoughts on it. To sum up, get rid of 205 Live, put the Cruiserweights back into the main roster, and actually do stuff like they used to do with Rey Mysterio, have them go in for United States Championships and things like that. Convert the old 205 Live into a women's own promotion and work from there. You can, there's so much you can really do. Just a little rant there, um, that's where I'm really gonna end it. I hope you did actually like this video. If you've got any thoughts on um, 205 Live, if they should keep it, if they should get rid of it, or what they should do if they do get rid of it, that sort of thing. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.